We start by going from the roundhouse to your house. We are two weeks into the 60 day legislative session. It is clear public safety is a top priority for state lawmakers. There's a long list of proposals aimed at tackling the root causes of crime and what happens to suspects. But lawmakers are also paying attention to victims. Let's bring in Griffin Rushton, who's covering the session for us. Griffin, a proposed funding boost for victim advocates took a big step forward this week. Yeah, House Bill 21 sailed through its first committee yesterday. The bill is calling for an extra $5 million per year to fund victim advocate programs inside law enforcement agencies across the state. Albuquerque police launched one of those programs back in 2021. Department liaisons help victims of violent crimes find community resources and services, but most importantly, they provide updates on investigations. Nicole Chavez, whose teenage son was killed in a drive-by shooting, says the the program makes sure the people most affected by violent crime aren't forgotten. Imagine um, your child is murdered and you have no idea why, who did it, and no one is reaching out to you, nobody. And it's been weeks um, and you're wondering, did they forget about my child? Um, is there anyone helping with my case? Are they gonna find out who did this? And so now there's somebody that does that and that makes a huge difference. Chavez was at the Roundhouse Friday when the House Judiciary Committee unanimously approved the proposal. She believes it's a sign lawmakers are listening. I think what was surprising is they seemed a little shocked that we already didn't have that funding and programs, um, which, you know, for us as crime victims, it's nice that we finally feel heard and people are listening. Now, it's not clear when the bill will land in its next committee.